Hello, hello, my name is Adrian. Uh, today I want to just talk about uh, some beginner tips for creating comics on Webtoon. Um, I've, so basically I've made two comics on Webtoon before already. And uh, I just want to share my tips for myself and for you if you're trying to make a comic on Webtoon. Uh, so here we go. Uh, the first tip is just to start with a, with a short story. And that's just because when I was making my first comic on Webtoon, I didn't really know where I was trying to take it. Uh, but I knew at the time I wanted it to be a really long series, have a bunch of characters, uh, a bunch of settings, all this stuff. And I just wanted the story to go uh, for a very long time. But the problem with thinking like that was that uh, I, I just wasn't ready for it, really. So that's what I'm saying. Start start with a short story because when when I was creating my my short my first webtoon, it was called it's called uh, Nights and Nights and Rubies on webtoon. You can read it if you want to. It's, it's still up there. I haven't taken it down. Um, when I was making Nights and Rubies, I didn't know where I was going to take it. Um, and so that's why I say start with a short story because when you start with a short shorter story. You know when the story is going to end, how it's going to end, and what characters are in it, and what setting they're in. And that's what I, that's kind of what I'm doing now. I'll talk about it in a little bit. But going back to the my first webcomic, uh, Nights of Rubies, I didn't really have an idea of where I wanted the story to go, how, how it was going to end. And that's just because it was too long. Um, and as, as I created more and more episodes for it, I could tell that I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't know where the story was gonna go because I uh, I felt, I didn't feel motivated anymore to keep drawing that story or keep writing it. And so when I moved on to my second story, uh, Kumari's Bounty, uh, I started, I think this year, a couple months ago, uh, Kumari's Bounty, that's on Webtoon as well. Uh, I started that and I was like, okay, I'm going to, I'm gonna do better than last time, and I'm, I'm I'm gonna make a shorter story. But the problem with this story, <laughs> funny enough, is that it wasn't short enough. Uh, I planned on doing five episodes for the story, but even five episodes was too long for me. So I had to reevaluate right now whether or not I needed to do. Or I just need to re- reevaluate how how big or or how short of a story I really needed to create because like my first one, it was too long. I, I didn't know where it was gonna go. And then my second webcomic, it was still too long, but it was short, but still too long for me. And so that's, that's my f- very first tip is to keep your story short. Uh, that way you have, you're focused on that for the short amount of time you're creating it. Um, and you are motivated to keep telling that story up, up until the ending. And that's what I'm doing right now is, uh, I'm actually creating this short story. I'm gonna publish on Webtoon, put on Webtoon, about bandits. It's only gonna, it's, it's only a six page comic. I'm gonna upload to Webtoon and that's it, six pages. If I was to count probably how long Pumari's Bounty was in comparison to six pages, it would probably be up to like 10, 12 pages. Maybe, maybe not even 10, 12, probably like 30 pages, maybe. I'm thinking about how long five episodes worth of webtoons is, and that's probably about a good 30, 20 to 30 pages that I'm really thinking about it. And so yeah, just keep your comic short. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm learning to do. Uh, I'm learning how to better tell my stories and in a shorter format. So that way, when in the future, when I do want to create a, longer story with comics, graphic, graphic novels and stuff. Um, I have all this experience and stuff from creating shorter uh, works of uh, stories and stuff like that on Webtoon. And so that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, my second, I guess a little tip real quick is just to spend more time. I should have spent more time on designing my characters. <laughs> if you look back um, uh, in my comic, <clears throat> Knights and Rubies, you can you can kind of tell, um, or maybe you can't, but I, I can definitely tell that uh, 
my character design wasn't the best. Uh, whether that was the hair, the face, uh, or the characters, I just needed to spend more time on it. And so that's why I need to create more. Uh, in the future, I need to create more what's called character sheets with the character front view, back view, side angle, all that kind of stuff, and color and stuff. And uh, yeah, that just really helps uh, solidify your designs for your comic. You know what you're drawing at all times. And so yeah, I got better at it uh, with Pumari's Bounty. I had a full character sheet with all my characters, but with Pumari's Bounty, uh, like I said, it was, it was just too long for me, um, and I didn't end up finishing it. I do I do want to finish it, and I, I am going to finish it, but I just started getting <clears throat> less and less motivated to actually finish it uh, for multiple factors, uh, but mainly just because it was too long for me at the time. But yeah, the character design in Pumari's Bounty was pretty good for my second webtoon. Um, hopefully right now I'm putting up the character design sheet so that you can see it. Uh, I did pretty good with it and, uh, uh, that's what I just need to work on some more. So yeah, in the future, I'm just going to keep making, keep these tips in mind for myself. Uh, when I'm making more comics, keep my comics short, uh, keep my character design consistent and spend more time on it and just keep keep going keep improving that's that's what i hope to do so uh yeah hopefully these tips helped you out uh that's all i got so peace